This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level Zero NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. We've had... So we didn't crash this time. No, thank God. We've had some yeah. terrible, terrible technical problems. My computer does poorly in the winter, apparently. Like, it's not particularly cold in my apartment, but I think it's very dry. Like, um, I think there's some, like, static electricity problems or something like that. Or my microphone is going bad and I need to replace it, which is probably true anyway. I've been using this thing since, bef since like, roughly when we started doing Level Zero NPCs. Oh, Jesus. Um... Yeah, it's the same, the same blue snowball that I have been using this entire time. Um, the only reason that the audio recording quality sounds any better is because I've gotten better at, um, at, at well, one, audio mastering, and two, just sort of, like, setting up a room that I can record in without being too audio echoey. Yeah, that's true. That's so. true. I like it. Maybe your computer just has I like it too. seasonal affective disorder. Do you know what you should do? <laughs> yeah, it might. I have one of those. I have one of those lights that have that like simulate real sunlight with like, you know, maybe I'll just turn that on. Get yourself a spray bottle, here. fill it with water and lemon juice, and just spray it into the vents spray of your computer. Spray the computer. Yeah, yeah see spray how it, it does. in there. Give it a good shot, like a plant. Did I ever tell you guys about at my first job killing my computer by spilling my tea? I don't think I've heard that one. I but. have, but you should tell it. I was, uh, well, sitting at my desk at my very first job, and uh, I set my cup of tea down just a little too hard. I was a tea <laughs> drinker back then. I didn't drink coffee, and I didn't curse. I was a little and baby-faced, and <laughs> oh, what a time. Anyway, I set my cup of tea down a little too hard, and a single drop sort of goes up and out and neatly into one of the side vents of my computer, <laughs> and there's a little nice. blue spark... And the screen goes black, and no part of that computer was ever a computer again. <laughs> <laughs> it shorted out so badly that they just replaced the entire machine. And uh, I got a brand new computer, like, later that day. And our tech guy was like, just so you know, this won't happen every time. Like, you don't get a free computer <laughs> upgrade every time you spill something. So, <laughs> keep that in mind. Nice. I somehow, and I don't think it was my fault, blew up a computer my first day of work uh, and my first game job in Japan. Um, on my first day, uh, I got to the office. Uh, I did my sort of HR paperwork. And they didn't have a lot ready for me to do at the time. So they were like, hey, can you help build this PC? There's like another person starting today and we need uh, we need this uh, desktop built and i knew how to build a pc before so um you know and i like they didn't give me like anything for grounding or anything like that. so it could have been partially my fault but i assembled the pc put the whole damn thing together um and then like set it up plugged it in we were all ready to go flipped on the switch heard a pop smelled ozone <laughs> saw smoke coming out the back and i was like mm, something went wrong here so uh i think the psu was bad Right, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a bad first day. It's a it's a rough first day. Yeah, yep. I, <laughs> I uh, I'm after that they just had me burning discs for uh for Class of Heroes one to send to Atlas for them to publish in North America. So better idea, better idea. I'm so yeah. rough on technology, and I've never broken any of it. Thanks. Nice, thank it's you. It's true. Yeah, Matt's equipment never dies. And uh, he treats it like a giant baby, just flinging it around and using iPads as mouse pads. <laughs> my my technology loves me. I treat it the way it wants to be treated. You know what I mean? I think it really likes to play. It likes to it likes to have a little likes to have a little fun. You know, sterility. It's like it's like I think all of my technology is like. What do you call it? They're like adrenaline junkies, you know? They like it. They like to be thrown around a little. They, they like the way that when you get up, you'll take whatever device you're holding it into your hand and frisbee it into the couch as if discarding it forever. <laughs> I do that. <laughs> I've done that to every single iPad I've ever owned. It's, uh... They love it. 
They last forever. <laughs> they love it. <laughs> They're like, "Wee! I'm gonna live forever," and then they do. Anyway, uh, what a world! Now you get a little glimpse into my life. What a goddamn world! Anyway, yeah, what a goddamn world. Hey, welcome back. So yeah, we had a little bit of a technical problem Hi. there, but we're we're back. Yeah, now. we're my- fine. My auda- just audacity, but my audacity crashed because I think my I think I static shocked my mic or something like that. Anyway, um, so that's why I was really quiet for the last five minutes of the last recording. But I'm back. Not that you're not that I said anything of value. So it was we're just gonna air that episode, and I might not even put in a warning. You'll just be like, oh, really? Luke wasn't talking that whole time. So it's a type of hey, suspense you don't get from just any Let's Play channel. You know. <laughs> How's it going to be today at level like zero? To, Will it fundamentally I'm work interested, at all? <laughs> I'm interested in what it's like to be a viewer of level zero NPCs, honestly. Like, I know what to expect because it's my fault <laughs> when I come back to watch an episode that we did here. Uh, and sometimes, like, I'll make myself laugh. I'm like, oh, yeah, we're kind of funny sometimes. But, like, sometimes I'm like, while we're recording this, I'll be sitting here thinking, well, I'm actively doing something that, you know, is definitely bad TV. Going like... <laughs> How does anybody watch this? Sh- How do 50 people an episode watch this shit? <laughs> also, it's, yeah. it's like there's no guarantee for so much of it. Like, there's yeah. like our technology could fail at any minute. And also, we we yep. just might not do it one week. Like, just, oh, yeah. you tune in on Saturday? Mm, yeah. Nothing. Nothing for you. Yeah, you checked. <laughs> there was a whole month and there was just nothing. And then there was uh, episodes like nothing happened before. And we're only just barely apologetic about it, too. Well, um, you know, you know, I think, yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to defend us, but there's no defense. We're indefensible, my friend. Like We knew, um, people know, you know, everybody knows. When you name yourself Level Zero NPCs, you know. That's the one thing we did right. That is. We did that right. <laughs> Don't expect too much. But I was like, I, I don't know if we are inhabiting a unique niche in let's play channels but i feel like we're close to it because i haven't found another one um with like like i'm gonna i'm gonna go out on a limb and say we have pretty good production values as they go yeah but like has pretty decent production values but really shitty habits (laughs) you know (laughs) yeah the quality of our content yeah. isn't great. Yeah, we're the equivalent of a Twitch streamer streaming for half an hour and then going to bed without turning off the camera. Like that's what this <laughs> show is. <laughs> yeah, because even when we do show up, there's no guarantee that we won't spend like an hour with the mouse hovering <laughs> over the option "Greet Wolfie." Yeah, I mean we're good. We're almost ten minutes in, and we haven't done shit. And. In- like I changed from the escape menu to the talk to Wolfie menu. That's the only thing we've accomplished today in this uh, in this episode. I hope I you've enjoyed us. this. And we might not get much further before we get to the ten minute mark. I, I hope that you've all enjoyed this ten minutes of masturbatory yeah. self flagellation. <laughs> <laughs> but guess our but guess it's our jam. It's our deal. We got a question for Crawl. We have a question for Crawl. Yeah. 12 up needs to do a question for call song yeah. thing for us. Yeah, 12 up we need 12 to, up. We, we uh, need well, to let's <laughs> let's let's all wait a moment and then shout crawl and yeah, Luke okay. can edit yeah, it can, so that can, we're can, slightly can, louder than glory. <laughs> all right, you can sync this up, Luke. We got we got faith in yeah. you. Okay, so I'm going to count us down and on the beat after 3, we'll all shout crawl. Okay. Okay. 3 2 1 Crawl. <laughs> I, I counted in the opposite direction, too. Yeah, I really fucked that up. I was like, up. what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> this is not what I expected. Do I go on two? <laughs> You've changed the social contract! Oh, uh, yeah, no, I, I said what I would do, and then I did a different thing instead. I just went rogue with it. Okay. It's lending credence to what we were saying if, about this if, channel. If, if I were, like, a, a military general, thousands would have died for that mistake. <laughs> 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 all right yeah uh, joseph davies question for glorious crawl if you were suddenly put in charge of marketing your pizza restaurants cross promotion with the release i'm all of in crawl, let's go what uh-huh. special pizza toppings would you offer as the limited time only crawl flavors 
And what would you call these specials? Note, glaive pizza cutter not included for illustration purposes only. <laughs> nice. I would uh, I could do a, I'd do a Cyclops pizza that's a cheese pizza with one enormous piece of pepperoni in the middle. Or, or an, Love it. Or, with an olive on top. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like it would be an unsatisfying pizza because you get a slice and the first few bites have a big meaty wedge of pepperoni and then the rest is just cheese <laughs> i i it depends would... on how how dilated the dilated the eyeball is you know yeah cheap to make though like you could charge a little extra because it's a promotional thing but it's quite cheap to make because you just you put the cheese down and you slap a pepperoni approximately in the middle and you throw it in the oven <laughs> so I want to put like like uh, mushrooms and like black garlic and uh, some squid ink. Nice. And mm-hmm. um, when you take a piece, it's like those greeting cards that have a little sound chip when you move it. It's just the scream that happens when you kill the stalkers. <laughs> 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 uh, Matt, has, Matt has gone in the opposite direction where uh, his pizza business is really going to flounder on that one financially because it's got like delicate motion sensors put in the box and it's got like unusual more expensive ingredients it costs $40 per pizza okay yeah like if you really charge a lot for the experience then yeah you just have to make sure that each one of those pays for all the technology you put in the box <laughs> No, these are these are the two perfect pizzas to market. Um, yeah, man, I'm down. I, I mean, you definitely have to have a glaive pizza, right? Like one that with where the ingredients sort of like match make the glaive. A glaive. Make a glaive. I, I might do that as like a garlic bread, you know, Ooh, like a five prong garlic glaive. That's yeah, like, such a good idea, like a pull apart bread. Yeah, you could make five little prongs to it. You could probably find a way to do it pretty cheap, and but that would. Yeah. Oh, that's such a great idea. Why aren't we doing Just this? Parmesan, garlic, and butter. Because nobody wants to buy Krull <laughs> branded pizza. That's what? why we're not doing it. <laughs> that would be incredible. Like, what a what a waste. Like, if we did manage to get a hold of the license of Krull. Like we joked about doing. And then we just, instead of doing anything with it, we just opened Crawl Pizza. And it's a Crawl the Movie themed pizzeria. I think you could do a Crawl the Movie themed pizzeria without paying for the license. You just do it. Nobody's going to stop you, I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. That's cold. I love that. That's such a great question. My God, Joseph, I, buddy. I think I would do like um, red pepper flakes and like jalapeno Ooh. for like the uh, the fire horses thing. <clears throat> yeah. Um, oh, the fire I mare. Mean, put on some like donair meat. <laughs> fire yeah. <special>. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Nobody knows what donair meat is outside uh, of. It's, pr- it's, prob- exactly. it's probably not legal to serve horse meat, is it? Because that would be quite good. A horse meat pizza, I mean, it, a spicy horse it meat might pizza. Be. We, yeah. I don't know. Like I haven't checked. <laughs> There's a chance that horse meat is okay to sell. Like first it might in- just be that there is a cultural stigma around it. But first ingredient: spicy horse meat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. Yeah. Kebab shawarma style, you know. Oh yeah. One of one of the hardest times I've ever laughed. One of the times I've laughed the hardest, rather, was uh, I. Luke and I were comparing what the strangest thing we'd eaten was, and I had uh, I think mine was an alli- <laughs> yeah. Mine was an alligator burger, and it was a burger just piled high with sloppy alligator meat, and it was a strange thing to sell, and it was a strange experience to eat it. Uh. And Luke's answer was pickled bees. <laughs> yep. And pickled bees, dude. I thought my lungs would collapse. <laughs> I I laughed until I cried. I had to stop and lean on something because we were walking somewhere. I was beside myself. I was so shocked. I can't believe that's real. <laughs> they were okay. Yeah, yeah, I bet they were. Pickled bees. It's just... <laughs> bees make bees make honey. Why would you? Why would you take the? Why would you, why would take you the, eat the bee? Why would you 
take the bees themselves and pickle them. Like what? <laughs> it's like your hummingbird poison. Uh, oh my god. <sighs> Yeah, Alex. Has, I mean, so now I need to tell the story. Although yeah, it's not that yeah, I gotta know how you uh, got a hold of that. Well, I didn't get a hold of it. I was uh, I was staying with a home a homestay family. Um, I think it was uh, the homestay family that I stayed with when I, when I was a, a high school student in Japan. Um, as an exchange student, I went uh, for a sort of summer homestay with this family. That I believe I believe it was a uh, they were living in like uh, Toyota City, which is the place where toyota motors were founded um but uh so we went to visit their grandparents in the mountains and uh i you know went with them of course and uh we were just like making food right uh and i think they were making like a a musubi which is like a, a rice ball kind of thing right um and one of the one of the fillings was this sort of black raisin looking kind of stuff in like <laughs> jelly and like, like you want to try some of this? I'm like, well, what is it? No, just go ahead and try it. Which is there's never ends well, you know, when someone's response to what is it is just try it. Um, but you know, I'm a you know I'm a masochist or something, so I uh, I was like, all right, why not? Let's go for it. And so I I ate some. It tasted strange, but not terrible. Um, and then I was like, okay, so what is it? And they turned this tin around to show it to me. And it's just a picture of a bee on it. I'm like, is this like some kind of honey thing? And they're like, no, it's bees. <laughs> you just ate a bee. And I'm like, I ate a bee? <laughs> it was, Why? It was from a tin, too. This yeah. is like a yeah. tinned product. Why would you yeah, use yeah. those as food? <laughs> Why would you use bees as food? So I, texture I should say between gouts of laughter that <laughs> there's many types of non honey bee and also the food's not as easy to acquire in all corners of the world That's you know I've, I've there's a Gordon Ramsay does an interesting show where he travels to different places and does local cuisine and he had to lasso a cactus off the side of a cliff to pull worms out of it and cook them that's just what life is in some places so anyway it's not, I can imagine it it's just it's a really funny it's statement really funny. as a garnish. Just a little, you open up a tin and just inside is a bunch of little bees and you just scoop them out of the bee jelly and you just tap them onto the side of the plate. And there you go. Like, uh, like tomato relish, except bees. Mom, can you pass the bees? <laughs> pass the bees. Pass the bees. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, you've lived. I'll find like I'll find a picture you've really and lived. I will share it. I, I'll put it up right now. Oh, no. That's just, what a tin of bees looks like. Just gotta stress. We are delighted by the pickled bees. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why we're laughing so hard. Oh my god. Okay, you guys you guys gotta uh you guys gotta tell us what's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in the comments. We gotta know. Uh, there might be somebody who's like, "Yeah, bees. I eat bees all the time. What's what's the big deal?" You know. I don't it's, know where our, it's, it's, our viewers are from. It's very true. It is small of us to laugh so hard at the concept. <laughs> it's just so shocking. <laughs> it's hilarious. Matt's lost it. <gasps> Woo. Yeah. And just to summarize, Matt and I had a similar joke where we would talk about hummingbird poison, and that is the entire joke. Just picture a big white bottle with a black hummingbird stenciled in silhouette on it with a red circle around it with a line through it. Hummingbird poison. Just those are the two words at the black label. It's just, why would anyone want such a thing? Who would buy it? Who's into their garden thinking, God, all these hummingbirds. So fucking annoying. If only there was something I could do about them. Uh, yeah, anyway, Matt and I had a similar fit of laughter. Uh, that took oh. up a good deal of company time. Oh, day. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Well, that was fun. So we're, so we're putting hummingbird poison in our, uh, in our adventure game, are we? Absolutely. You can buy it. Uh, hummingbird poison. Nice. Oh, God. 
<laughs> okay. I mean, like, I was doing indie game development in AGS. This is a thing that could be done. Oh, yeah. Those yeah. are excellent gamer tags, by the way. Pickled bees and hummingbird poison. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. Whew. Yeah, put put the weirdest thing you ate below. <laughs> also, if you and your friends have a really stupid in joke that makes your lungs collapse with laughter, let us yeah, in. Love love too. to know. That too. <laughs> oh God. Okay. We can, we can publicize your in joke for you. Now that we're twenty minutes in, let's uh let's do some <laughs> yeah, yeah. let's get one conversation and then call it an <laughs> let's, episode. Let's finish talking to Wolfie and we can say we technically <laughs> yeah. went We down- also talked to last episode. Yeah. We went down a flight of stairs and we talked to a dog. <laughs> oh no, wait, we talked about no man for a while. Yeah. Quest for Glory 5 is like watching Dragon Ball Z, I swear, (laughs) on this show. (laughs) Oh, shit. (sighs) But instead of, like, grunting and powering up, we're just standing, staring, (laughs) wordlessly. It's like the hero of of Shapir, the Prince of Shapir, and this dog merchant. Okay, so to be Spending fair, though, hours just staring at one another. We had no questions for Glory before Christmas. Like we had, a, we had a That's couple true. episodes where we just played. How boring! <laughs> <laughs> if we wanted to be really avant garde, I could just reach behind me, grab my book of the Kroll novelization, and start reading. No, no, we don't want to be that. I think we no. should save one. That's a treat. That's a treat. That's a treat. You haven't earned that <laughs> yeah, yet. Literally. I haven't earned that yet. I think we need uh, to, yeah. yeah, we need we need to earn it. We're what we're doing is we're yeah. we're really refining our fan base. You know, yes. <laughs> we're really we're really shaping the PCs <laughs> like in like a like a red ingot on an anvil. And this uh, is a filtering exercise. Yeah, like we're bringing that charcoal to the surface and letting it flake away because anyone <laughs> who doesn't laugh at the pickled bees, you you can take your business elsewhere. <laughs> There's other. There are other shows for you. You oh, you, you don't need to be here. There's no reason to do this to yourself. That's the first time. That's the first time I'd heard about the pickled bees. And and uh, holy shit, I'm I'm in. That's great. Okay. All right. What's You're next? Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's ask about the price of rulership. Oh. That's very pleasant news indeed. It will be good to have you as king here. I did not know many kings that have bought things from my stand after all. <laughs> he went a little Cajun there for a second. Um, I guarantee. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> boy. Meow. <Yeah>. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What time of day is it? I mean, spent most of the last two episodes paused, so it might be not so early in the morning that we can't catch a boat. So I figured out how to get the goo that we lost. Um, yeah, the lost, or goo. that we didn't pick up at that we didn't pick up when we were on the Hydra Island because we didn't have an amphora. Oh yeah, there we go. So I can rent this boat. Um, there you go. Dead. It's amazing, man. We managed to sail near Hydra Island last night. As long as they swim the boat near the shores of the islands, I'm not attacked by the Tritons, do you know? This would be a rough world to be a fisherman in. Yeah, well, that's why all of them are so, like, just disturbing, right? Like, that's why the fishermen are, like, a a frightening race of of terrors. Because, like, our world is, in at least a few respects, kind of decipherable. It has like patterns and rules that sort of make sense. Um, mm-hmm. The world of Quest for Glory 5 is kind of scary and random. Um, like, it, it has, like, different forms and arrangements of chimeric beasts and beast men that don't seem to have much of a pattern to them. It's like savage mer people, and also there are like Romans from the real world for some reason, except they look like <laughs> crawl slayers. <laughs> like, yeah. how are you supposed to navigate a world like that? Oh, thank God we got the goo. You got that goo. 
I'm just gonna abandon Andre to his boat. Oh, uh -huh, my name is Andre. I will this wait here for you. This show would truly be <laughs> nothing without Luke, because Matt and I didn't try even slightly, or even think about how to get the goo, or even remember that the goo needed to get got. <laughs> no, I pointed out the goo problem, but then I forgot about it forever. At the time, you know. At the time, it's. I was at the time. Like, it's a grip after. I was on the ball at the time, but then I was off the ball. The ball. I think is part else. of the reason this series is so Dragon Ball is uh, we wanted to do have Matt to do the voices, but we didn't realize necessarily in advance that this would be an unusually challenging game to do that, which makes every bit of dialogue kind of an obstacle. Yeah, but yeah. I'm into it. I'm oh yeah, feeling it. Yeah. I, I just wish I could remember everybody's voice. Because <laughs> I just can't. it would be easier if we did this on a weekly basis. Yeah, it if, would. Uh, it would. If, if I was wrong about the dog merchant being uh, Wolfie, I think is his name. Uh, if I was wrong about him being a cartoon prospector, I apologize. Oh, whatever. Who cares? You have a way better memory than anyone. Because your blood is coffee. And coffee <laughs> holds memories. <laughs> That's true. If I go more than 48 hours without coffee, it'll leave my system, as will all of my memories. I'll have to meet all my <laughs> friends again, learn all my skills. <laughs> thank, thank goodness. Cafe Sanguine. I acquired the coffee sub... It's a parenthetical subtype. Human parentheses coffee. You I tell Anne about making the sheet into a balloon. And her response is... Because <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't involve a straight stitch. Sure, I'll have it for you tomorrow or so. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just a pu pun-loving, bound, dark entity. <laughs> oh, man, we're we're on our way, you know? I can see We're really I, going places in I, life. I think this game might be... I think this game will take us less than two years. <laughs> yeah, probably. That's good. That's what, I'm, in, that's what I'm hoping for. In spite of all our best efforts, Luke is really making progress. I am making progress in the game. I'm pretty proud of myself. It's, it's, we're going to have a low score um, at the end of the game. There are, As a matter of fact, there is a journal... That you can access. I forget how. Um, let me just save my game here for a second. Um, also, uh, if you are hearing little animal noises, uh, I have adopted a cat. So, um, yes, she is very young and therefore also very energetic and will probably have opinions. So huh. What's, uh, uh, ready for that. what's the little bastard's name? <laughs> Her name is Maruko uh, or Chibi Maruko-chan, uh, which is the name of a cartoon character. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. And she is now uh, inhabiting the space between me and my keyboard. That's lovely. But that's okay. Now we do, I didn't um, I didn't hear her. I heard the seagulls from the game, but then again, kittens and seagulls uh, sound very she, similar. She was climbing up the back of my chair oh, okay. and then meowing from the top of my headrest oh. and then sort of climbed down over my shoulder to lay down on the desk. Well, so the, let her go. Let her go. Just let her go. Look, I was uh, once babysitting a kitten, or I guess cat sitting a kitten, but keeping the kitten in my home. And I had a house guest, and I said, apologies, I'm looking after this kitten. And my friend said, that's okay. Kittens are pretty metal. <laughs> <laughs> Which, are pretty metal. It's an apt description. There's a certain chaotic energy they have that's pretty metal. <laughs> Namaste. Yeah. May you be having a pretty pleasant day. They are metal. Can't I can't argue with that. The tiny little killing machines. They're nature's greatest killing machine, and then we made them teensy tiny so that their killer instinct could not be rested upon us. Yeah. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna ask Wolfie now? I thought we could tell him about um like us. Uh, doing the uh, balloon thing, like building the balloon. Maybe we'll have to wait until. I don't. Um, I don't care about no man that. Is done. Oh, he does though. He does. Like seriously, 
Um, he's I an just, avid. It's just too early for me to tell him. About it. <laughs> I I appreciate that you do that every time we pass by. Well, I I don't do it every time, but I'm going to start. I appreciate You've that. You've met too. my wife over there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. You don't have to say anything. I... No, it's it's the thing you have to know about us is that uh, some of us are cat people and some of us are people cats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you must get I'm some so rest soon. Stamina. How did you run out of stamina? I don't know. I rest in this game, I forget. Just type wor- just type rest. <laughs> just just type rest. Yes, that will work. That I do work. occasionally miss the text prompt where you could just type whatever was in your heart to type. Yeah. Do you oh, know yes. do you know how you can get some of that stamina back? Let's go see Phallus. For some <laughs> quick stress relief. Oh, hey, how you doing? Yeah, so here are the deeds that we have successfully completed in the game. So a, a unique thing about Quest for Glory is we'll actually tell you all the things that you have to do to get a maximum score, or at least the closest possible to a maximum <clears throat> score. It's actually impossible to do every single possible deed in the game. Some of them are mutually exclusive, um, although it is possible <laughs> to uh, marry two people what um what although the game the game is supposed to prevent you from doing it but if you buy Hera's ring i think which is the uh the gift that you need to give to uh your um you know your love to be uh and then you but you can buy a Hera's ring and then you can just store it in your storage chest and it just checks to see whether you're currently carrying Hera's ring or not to see whether they'll sell you another one or not so you can just get more than one Harris ring. Can you marry like um, three people? Maybe. There are two that are that are absolutely mutually exclusive. Like, so uh, you know, spoilers because it's going to happen eventually. Um, we're going to go to Hades to hell, and we are going to uh, be able to resurrect one of two people. One of them is Katrina, and the other one is uh, Irana. Um, unfortunately, uh, the paladin cannot marry Katrina. Katrina. Um, she will just refuse to marry a paladin, which is sad. You know, she was probably the one character that we actually expressed real interest in. Yeah, I liked in her. This game. Um, but yeah, the other sort of prospects are Elsa of Spielberg. Um, Not Irana, interested. The, the wizardress. Maybe Irana, and though, eh? Yeah, well, Irana is the canon sort of marriage prospect for the paladin. And I think only the paladin can marry Irana. That might be the the distinction there. And then there's Nawar, the uh, former lady of the harem who now runs the dagger throwing game in the in the saloon. And then the last one is um... oh yeah, this is that's it's that four. You might be able to marry Nawar, Elsa, and. Uh, Irana. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you just can't resurrect both Irana and Katrina. You you sacrifice your life energy or something like that to bring them back. So, Well... 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 Can you marry anybody else? No, I think it's just those four. Oh. Can you marry Rakesh? No, he's already married. Yeah, but, you know. He's a faithful husband to Rishaka. All right. What about Rikisha? No, to Krisha. To Krisha. his daughter. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm out. I Technically, we're Taurus already wrong. married to that to that, that cheetah woman, the, the Leo Pardman. Yes, to, yeah. Yeah. To, although she, um, she just basically annulled our marriage and got married to, uh, to Yasufu. From the Sinbani tribe. Whatever. They said that at the end of the third game. Whatever. I didn't pay attention to that. That wasn't interesting <laughs> to me. <laughs> you know? Nobody had said my name in more than 30 <laughs> seconds at that point. Matt so. acknowledges a kind of canon of the interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes life better, I'll tell you that much. It's rare to see Matt believe the boring version 
the the boring hypothesis is really the one where Matt puts his faith in. Oh my god, the fact like <laughs> yeah, like pickled bees was the best thing you could have said. Like <laughs> I could like I did I couldn't have called that at all. Was this your first? Like were you not there for the original pickled bees conversation? No, I wasn't. <laughs> no, we I were walking oh, someplace my. in Edmonton. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, wow. I, I had never heard that before. I undersold it. I should have tried harder. My my reaction was genuine. I just I was uh, that was hilarious. <laughs> I actually didn't I actually didn't get the full story of under what context Luke had eaten the bees because I ceased to be a functional human being for like <laughs> half an hour afterwards. It's true. Well, yeah, on the note of pickled bees, um, we're just about out of time for this episode. So <laughs> let's go over what we did in the game. Yes, let's do that. that that'll be a good way to uh, check our score. Let's look at our deeds. So uh, we have attached feathers to the flying frame. Yeah, we got the balloon picture and used it. Uh, we bought a mystic magnet. We defeated the general. That was quite a while ago. We entered the right of rulership. King we pageant the science lab. Yeah, we got feathers. We found the invader fort. We freed the village of Naxos. We actually could have freed all the other villages, but we just kind of did ours and came back. Whatever. Would have been fine. Um, get the general's shield. Get Naxos town token. Yeah, so uh, apparently, like, remember how we were, like, killing tons of people in the town of Naxos before we managed to actually finish it off? Um, they will just keep on spawning infinitely, until you go in and get the town seal. And the moment you get the town seal, they flee the town. Whoa. And that happens in all of them. So, like, there's this... I was watching a speedrun recently of uh, Quest for Glory 5. And actually the whole Quest for Glory series. But um, they get it done in faster than probably one of these episodes. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, there's, like, a Quest for Glory 5, um, all deeds, basically, except for, like, one, because you can't, there's there makes exclusive deeds, um, by Crow, I think, um, but, uh, yeah, like, you basically just run straight to the chest, grab the thing, and go, um, and, like, so you can free all the towns that way and get all the, um, icons. All the tokens. Get the ring from Logos. Get the sheet. Get the sigil. Get to Hydra Island. Uh, give the anchovy and artichoke ch pizza to the scientists. Give the drugged chocolate to Salim to review. To check. To so, review. Salim Jesus. Dion. <laughs> Salim Dion. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, heal Rakish. Get Hydra scales. Get Hydra teeth. Learn about the Ring of Truth. Uh, make Icarus wings. Get a map. Uh, pass the science aptitude test. Get a po make a po poison cure pill. Sign the adventure's guild law. Bill <laughs> make stamina pills. Use the mystic magnet at least once. Use wax on the wings. Visit science island. Science island. Find wax and get windproof goo, which is the goo that we picked up in the last episode. Or maybe this one. Wow. Not, not one of those is save Rakish. <laughs> it's there. It's there. Hold on. Heal Rakish right there. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Rikish. Okay. Never mind. Right. I just, it was really funny to me that like get wax is on there, but like we went back to save Rakish and it doesn't even count as a deed. Like whoever people help their friends all the time. That doesn't count. And that's not a deed. That's just doing the right thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, at the end of the game, after we finish it, there will also be a second list of deeds that have not been completed, of deeds that you've missed. Oh, good. Presumably, in the in with the intention of saying like play through again and do them all. But of course, in our case, we're going to look at that list, feel a sort of a a twinge of vague guilt, and then move on to another game. Yeah, yeah, a whole other series. <laughs> this is the last of the quest for glories, so. Oh, yeah, a whole other series. I mean, unless we want to go into, like, Hero U or something like that, which we could if we felt so inclined, but we'd be playing Lori and Corey Cole games until 2025 20, or so. No, I'm, I'm ready to move on after yeah, this one. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, we will yeah get there, well, we're going to play all of them, assuming we live exactly. that long. 
<laughs> we'll be in our 60s by the time we get there, but, you know. Yeah, that's fine. We'll get there. Uh, uh, hey, hey, listen. Leave your questions for Glory. Leave you the weirdest things you've eaten. Leave your inside jokes. Leave your questions for Krull. Uh, and you know what? I, I really... Thanks for coming out to our podcast, everybody. You know, we really like having you here. <laughs> Thanks for joining us in our podcast. Yes. So we really us. enjoy talking to each other at you. <laughs> in your presence. <laughs> having just conversations. Yeah, darn right. Uh, it's good to be back. <clears throat> we're going to try to do this more regularly, but you know. We're level zero NPCs. What do you want? That's what, yeah. We used to be good at, at doing episodes regularly. That that has fallen off recently. Um, yeah, tell us your strangest food. Tell us what it's like being a uh, a regular watcher of the whole zero NPCs. Yeah, you, I'm genuinely curious. Yeah, you got you got to tell us because th- I just we put this out there. Because if you're here to hear this question, that means you're one of the people that that like actually. <clears throat> Does. Yeah, we so, are curious what the unifying trait is. We've been trying to figure it out for some years I, now. From what I've gathered, based on some people's comments, people do treat us like a like a podcast. They sort of just put mm-hmm. us on in the background and do something else. If they were there to watch something happen, oh yeah, I have failed them hard. Yeah, no, we all have. You know, then that's yeah. fine. That's uh, why we need to like start doing wet nest days again or something like that. Because like I can just play a platformer or something like that. These have dialogue. It's and like it's an interesting version of success where instead of trying harder with the thing that you're doing, you just sort of tweak the definition of what it is you're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, 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 we still care. We still show up. Yeah. Yeah. We you care know. deeply. deeply. And as usual, we've given our viewers maybe two or three too many different calls to action. But, you know, they love that shit, I oh, guess. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah, just... They they get to one of them-ish, probably. Yeah, some you of know, them. And th- they're they're giving as much as they're getting. I'm calling out... I'm, <laughs> Which is I'm, very little. Yeah. You know? I'm calling out those who haven't uh, commented in a while. Comment. Do it. Come back. And Juffo up. I want another question for Glory. It's good to have you here. Yeah, nice yeah. to meet you. Our, uh, our genuinely our... though, yeah. like we get excited when we see old faces. Like our 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 buddy Plural commented not so long ago, and it was oh, like plural. I screenshotted that and put that into our group Slack channel. Yeah, freaking, it's great. What a what a life. Yeah, it's amazing. Anyway, uh, stick and stay, and uh, we'll we'll see you either next week or whenever we choose to do this again. <laughs> yeah. In the meantime, you know, we'll try to make it next week. Be good we to one another. Try, you know. Yeah. Be good to one another, and equally important to yourselves. Yeah. We'll see you again soon. Darn right. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Bye, everybody. I love you. I I love all of you. Goodbye. I love the way you are. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. That's true. Bye. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it off uh, right well, here. No, well, hey, look. You don't have to. We can just hang out. We could just sit here for another five minutes. That's great. I'm still going to okay. respond to you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Yeah, that's a good one. Bye.